Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna review the BenQ GW2480T. It's an affordable 1080p monitor yet it has a lot of cool stuff up in its sleeve. So let's see how good is the GW2480T but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Now let's take a look at the box contents. First, you get the base which is made from metal and it's covered with plastic. You can attach it to the monitor arm using this screw that doesn't require a screwdriver and that's very convenient. I'm gonna show you the arm later in this video because it comes attached to the monitor already. You also have these rubber pads to keep the monitor securely in place and it has a kind of a weight to it but in a nice way. Next, you get a couple of cables. The first one is the power cord. It doesn't have any external adapters because it's already built in the monitor which is very convenient plus a 1.5 meter long HDMI cable. And here is the monitor and the first thing to talk about is the arm. First it has a handle at the top so you can move it around. You have this hole to pass your cables through it and make everything intact. The arm has a tilting range from negative 5 degrees up to 20 degrees. You can adjust the height with a range of 14 centimeters. And finally you can swivel it up to 90 degrees which means you can use the monitor in landscape and portrait modes. Talking about the ports you get one display port, HDMI, Vega, line-in, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power input. It has two button firing speakers on the left and the right with a maximum output of 2 watts. On the right side you get the power and control buttons. On the front it has this small piece that houses the ambient light sensor which is used by a feature called brightness intelligence that we're gonna talk about later in this video. Now let's put the monitor into action. Now I have the monitor up and running so let's go through the specs. It's a 24 inch IPS LED panel with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, 250 nits peak brightness, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, 60 hertz refresh rate, the color gamut is 72% NTSC which is equivalent to 99% sRGB with an 8-bit color depth. From what you have seen already it produces vibrant and accurate colors plus the blacks are deep so watching content with dark background on this monitor is joyful and the viewing angles are also great. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison at 45 degrees from both sides and I don't see any noticeable color shifting. When it comes to the bezels they are very thin at the top left and right sides Overall the viewing experience of this monitor is great thanks to the IPS LED panel. But now let's talk about the different display modes and settings that enhance the visual experience even further. It has 8 different presets to choose from, echo, sRGB, photo, game, movie, color weakness, low blue light and standard in addition to the custom mode which is called user. Here are 5 presets side by side so you can clearly see the difference between them the echo, sRGB, photo, movie and the standard. When it comes to the game mode here is a side by side comparison with the standard mode while playing Asphalt 9. It depends on your personal taste which one looks better but from my experience I found the standard and the sRGB are the best and if you don't like any you still can customize the settings the way you want by choosing the user mode. And the most interesting mode out of which is the low blue light and this is one of the key selling points of the GW2480T this mode reduces the blue light to minimize eye strain which is not something new. But the best part here is the different presets that are specific to this mode. It has multimedia, web surfing, office and reading. Each one of these has its own level of intensity. The next feature I want to show you is the brightness intelligence which is my favorite. In a nutshell this feature increases the brightness of the dark areas without overexposing the highlights and it works really well. To show you the difference I will keep covering and uncovering the ambient light sensor with my fingers. When I cover the sensor the feature stops and if you look closely you will see the highlights are slightly overexposed and when I reveal the sensor the brightness intelligence kicks in. It balances the exposure and the colors become richer. Here is a side by side comparison with and without the brightness intelligence.
Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Next, the built-in speakers. As expected, they sound tinny, muffled, and the volume is very low. So I don't recommend relying on them and it's better to use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to connect headphones or proper speakers. So my overall experience with the BenQ GW2480T is positive except for the built-in speakers and here's why. It has an affordable price. You can get one for only $160. The build quality is very solid as expected from BenQ based on my experience with the previous monitors I reviewed. The stand gives you a lot of flexibility. You can tilt the monitor up to 20 degrees. It has adjustable height with a range of 14 centimeters, the ability to swivel up to 45 degrees, and finally, it can be used in portrait or landscape. It has slim bezels. The IPS LED panel has vibrant and accurate colors. The blacks are deep and the viewing angles are great. Plus, it has a lot of different display modes and settings to adjust the monitor to your taste in addition to the low blue light and the brightness intelligence. What's missing here is the remote control, which makes it easier to control the monitor. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack needs to be in a better place for easier reachability and the built-in speakers need to have better audio quality. But if we're going to compare the drawbacks to the long list of good stuff you get, I think it has a great value for money. Before ending this review, let me show you a cool accessory from BenQ. It's the screen bar e-reading lamp. It's a bar with LEDs that you can attach to the top of your monitor to light up your desk. The box comes with three items, the USB-C to USB-A cable to provide it with power, the screen bar itself, and the adjustable clip. To install the screen bar, the process is very simple. Extend the clip and rest it on top of the monitor, then connect the other side of the cable to any USB port. The screen bar has four touch controls. The first one is the power. The second one is the auto dimmer that uses the built-in light sensor to adjust the brightness and the color temperature automatically. The third one is for manually adjusting the color temperature. And the last one is for manual brightness adjustment. This is a cool accessory if you want less distracting light serving a specific purpose and it consumes a lot less power than normal lights. All the the links for the monitor and the screen bar are in the description below. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review for the BenQ GW2480T. Please let me know what do you think in the comments below. So I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.